Now we're going to demonstrate a hallux block. So you have to make sure you have your materials, right? You have to make sure that the local anesthesia is not expired. Uh, you, uh, for a hallux block, you can do a 27 gauge needle. So uh, from this company, it is a gray cap. And then your syringe. So this is a 3cc syringe with an 18 gauge needle uh, to uh, incorporate or to get your um, uh, local drawn up, okay? So sometimes the syringes are packaged by themselves and then you have to get your drawing needle, your 18 gauge needle from its own packet such as this. But today we're living large and it comes in one pack. So first of all, like I said, you have to make sure that the local is not expired. You take your alcohol prep pad and you wipe the top of the bottle. Even if there's a cap on it, even if it's a brand new bottle, still wipe it off. So then you get your 18 gauge needle, your drawing needle onto your syringe. Now this is a three milliliter syringe. So say we could also do a four milliliter injection, one for each nerve, right? Because we wanna uh, anesthetize the dorsal uh, proper digital nerves one and two and plantar proper digital nerves one and two. So if you wanted to use one milliliter for each nerve, you could do four milliliters and then just draw back one extra milliliter, okay? Because typically these syringes may come in three or five milliliters. Okay, so we take our local. We wanna draw back first on this syringe, right? So I'm drawing back about four mLs. Make sure the needle is in the local, I push the air in, and then I have it like this, and I create this pressure gradient in order for the local to go into the syringe. Make sure that there's no bubbles, push it back a little bit, make sure there's four mLs. When I'm happy with it, take that out, and then I recap this needle. I recap this needle because it has not been used uh, in the body, right? So there's no uh, blood or anything on the needle and that is okay. So then I take this off and I put it in the sharps container. Then I take our needle and when I open this pack, you have to be careful because you have to do this in a sterile fashion. So you don't want to touch this gray hub and you don't want to touch the hub of the syringe and then you lock it in place, okay? Because if we touch that, then we're contaminating it and then we have to redraw it all over again. So now we have to clean the area. So you can take an alcohol prep pad, you can take betadine, you can just here, here. And I like to do it on the bottom just in case the needle goes through. You can do this injection a number of different ways. You can do the two stick method where you go dorsal and then you keep injecting plantar, pull it out, dorsal to plantar, or you can do injection here medial, pull it back up while well, you go dorsal and then you advance plantarly, then pull it back up. And then without coming out of the skin, you can turn it towards the lateral direction and then go lateral, okay? Then you're hitting uh, the nerve in this area. Then you pull it back, you know, so you hit that second proper digital nerve, and then you go plantarly and then hit the plantar digital nerves. So again, you can do the two stick where you go down, you know, from dorsal to plantar and hit the dorsal and plantar nerves one, dorsal and plantar nerves two, or you can do it dorsal and plantar nerves, don't pull back out, go lateral, pull it out, and then go plantar. So that's the three stick method. So it's, it's your choice, whatever you wanna do, but we will do the two stick method. So what I like to do is, I like to do it from where my back is facing the patient and then where my arms and hands are on the patient's lower extremity. So just in case they move or anything, I have control. Notice how I'm holding the syringe with my hands. I'm holding it like this like Spider-Man almost, right? And then I'm using my non-dominant hand, my left hand, to hold it in place just in case the patient moves. So patient, are you ready? Yes. Awesome. So you inject in the meaty portion of the hallux, right? So you go in, I'm going dorsally, but I'm advancing plantarly as I'm injecting. So I'm kind of monitoring what I'm doing here, right? So I wanna go in and kind of advance, advance. Notice that how the toe is getting a little bit 
edematous looking because the local is filling in and I'm injecting. And then I inject as I pull back out and then I injected two mLs. Go over laterally in that meaty part, inject, see it blanches a little bit, advance plantarly, inject, inject, inject. Make sure I get those plantar nerves, inject. And this is a one and a half inch needle, so you can kind of go down a little bit deeper into those plantar structures and then pull back. Notice I'm not touching the needle, I'm not contaminating anything. Injecting as I come out, okay, I'm done and then we're done here. So now we don't wanna to touch the needle, right? Because it's been in our patient, very careful. Do not do this, do not do what I just did, okay? Instead of doing that, you take this and you put it in the sharps container, okay? So do not recap a needle, but some, some of these are safety needles, but for demonstration purposes, I'm recapping this and putting it to the side. And then we are making sure that our patient is not bleeding too badly, okay? and then we put a Band-Aid on. Do not strangulate the toe. Okay, you're, just, you're just laying it on. Making sure that cap refill time is still intact. And we are all set.